know, I really feel like something to eat now, some shrimp. You want to stop? Yeah. There's a jack-in-the-box over there. Oh, just take a second. Uh, all right, Wh whatever you say. Your order, please. Uh, one order of shrimp, please, and hurry. Oh, uh, thank you very much, and uh, keep the change. Jack-in-the-box drive through restaurants. Good food for people who just can't wait to eat. New fashion photo Barbie. Ooh, Barbie's moving. You make new fashion photo Smile, Barbie doll Barbie. change her glamorous fashion model pose when you focus the play camera. It's fun. It's real the cape. Push the button for color changes on all eight fashion looks. Barbie, turn left, not right. <laughs> Here's the beautiful brunette, new fashion photo PJ, sold separately. New fashion photo Barbie doll comes with play camera and modeling stand. Camera does not take real pictures. From Mattel. So you're looking for a place to live. Well, look no further, friend. Look no further. Ooh, I got just a little place for you. Just for a little place for you and your woman. Oh, way up there, way up there. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You made a good buy. Peachy buy. Ooh, you'll like it very much. ship to sea. Let's go to press. Flash. Do you have a magpie in your home? If you do, you are most fortunate. The magpie is the most charming bird in all the world. He is the best friend the farmer ever had. Treat him gently. Treat him kindly. And always remember, the magpie deserves your respect. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Quiet! 
Yes, sir. I have just a little article you need, guaranteed to cure oral headaches. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I ain't got no headache. Oh, yes, you have, brother. <laughs> knows what will happen next. The shadow knows. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. If it ain't the little flower. Try it again. Maggie, my dear, would you mind asking those uncouth neighbors to be a little more quiet? This is just the place to peddle our product. We'll have no competition. All right, step right up and see the biggest little bargain ever offered to the public. It's sensational. And an absolute money-back guarantee goes with every bottle. I have here the greatest little hair tonic ever invented by man. Now I... a volunteer to demonstrate. Thank you, son. I pour a drop on the head, and in no time at all, you get a full growth of long, healthy hair. This is just a small example of what this hair tonic can do. It will cover the ball this head with a complete new growth of beautiful, healthy hair. And guaranteed... Uh, just a minute. No peddlers allowed in this park. Go on, get out of here. Go on, go on. And uh, don't or I'll tell the cop on you. Now I tell you what I'm going to do. Take a look at the stars. Only five cents. See the stars. Uh, I don't see any stars. You will, my friend. You will. Listen, you. What's the idea? Uh, there's a couple of peddlers. Well, put them in irons. All right. Have your money ready, folks. I 
say, old boy, that's no way to treat him. He's only doing his duty. Go on now, give yourself up. So... Why don't you look where you're going? Gotcha this time. You're both under arrest. That's what you are. Under arrest. you need a haircut. So do you, Jim. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> oh, howdy, partner. Time for timer. Do you ever get that hungry feeling after school? Boy, I do. I'm so hungry, I could eat a wagon wheel. When I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. <laughs> when my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on! Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down, or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slab or slice a chunk of, a snack or is a winner, and yet won't spoil my dinner. I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yahoo! Pretend there's trouble for G.I. Joe. You gotta get out, your G.I. Joe. Copters waiting, time to go. Gotta rescue G.I. Joe. Better move out, your G.I. Joe. Mission accomplished, G.I. Joe. 
G.I. Joe and G.I. Joe Adventure Team Helicopter, each sold separately. from the blue with a heart that's true fighting evil fighting crime and always there in the nick of time here he comes to save the day and he will prove that crime will never pay so let the trumpet players play for mighty mouse is here today force is at work right now, transforming the very fabric of our known universe. How little we know. <laughs> of a hurry to play hooky, is he? Well, I'll show him. Gotta change the Mighty Mouse and avert catastrophe. It's my duty to save the planet. Oh, no, you don't, Mike Mouse. Last month, you raced away from your position online ten times. I kept strict count, and I've got the charts to prove it. This time, I'm stopping you. Oh, look out for that! Oh, oh, hold on, wait! Oh, oh. But Pearl, I put in triple overtime every night without pay! That's no excuse! Wait, hold on! Mike! Oh, forgive me, Mike. If I'd known it would lead to this, I never would have made an issue of your absenteeism. <sighs> Or Pearl. I'll make it up to her later. What's going on here? Something terrible. 
horrible has happened, and it is only with great regret that I must make the following announcement. Our dear friend and beloved co-worker, Mike Mouse, will no longer be punching our time clock. Can it be? After such a brilliantly long and illustrious career, is this really the end? I guess it is. And all of Mouseville must mourn a single sad fact. Mighty Mouse is be. no more. Mighty Mouse? What about Mike Mouse? Oh, uh, yes, you're quite right. This day is doubly darkened. Indeed, it is hard to imagine another calamity befalling within the same 24-hour period. Runaway train! The brakes are out! My alter ego's co-workers are too distracted by grief to realize the danger they're in. I've got to stop this train! Hey, look, it's Mighty Mouse, and he's alive. He'll save the day. And what a day it is destined to be! I'll be darned if I can remember, but it didn't seem like the wrong side of the bed I got. These balloon payments are getting sky high, dear. Now it's double parking. Thing, but Scrappy's orphanage is definitely off limits! One train I wanted to stop? Oh, no! Has anybody looked in the basement lately? Wait a minute. Let me get just one thing straight. We've been celebrating the fact that Mighty Mouse ain't around to save the day no more, right? Uh, yeah. So he's not gonna pop in anymore, right? Uh, yeah. So he won't be in here, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, just checking.
That's enough. I panic. Everything stops right here, right now. All right. That's better. Now, what is going on? Who is doing all this? It's me. I'm doing it. I don't mean to. It's just that bad luck follows me around wherever I go. Bad luck? Is that all? Man, listen to what you're saying. Look around. The world is a wonderful place. You just have a bad attitude. Now, get that chin up. Stand up straight. Suck in that gut. <sighs> like this? Perfect. Now wake up, man. Smell the coffee. The world is yours. Now go out and get it. The world is mine. The world is mine. Now, if only I could solve every disaster so easily. Gosh, I feel good. <laughs> What about Mike Mouse? What about Pearl? Oh my gosh! Pearl! I forgot! <gasps> yeah! What about me? My best worker is gone and it's all my fault! Hi, Pearl! Need a lift? <gasps> you! You're alive! Ooh! I wasted the whole day crying over you and there you were swimming around and having fun! B -b Pearl! But me, Mike Mouse. Just wait till we get back to work. B -b -b Ooh, you'll see. Ooh, you think you can goof off all day, but you'll see. On this bright young day, we find the school children of Mouseville preparing for another exciting field trip. <laughs> Today, the pride of Mouseville are going to the Museum of Natural History, where they will see relics and artifacts of the prehistoric mouse past. Oh, there's one now. Tell me, sir, just how many of these trips have you made over the years? This is my first week here. Really? How old are you? Twenty-two. <laughs> Hey! Wait for me! You guys! Hey! Wait for Scrappy! Scrappy! <laughs> Who wants to go on an old field trip anyway? All they're gonna see are a lot of bones and fossils and stuff. I can see stuff like that in the cafeteria any day. Hey, wow, is this bus yours? Actually, it's a loner, but that doesn't matter. Climb aboard, Scrappy, and we'll have ourselves a real field trip. Gosh, Mighty Mouse, that sounds great. Gee, I guess I won't have this to kick around anymore. I'm sure glad you came along, Mighty Mouse. I missed the bus to the Museum of Natural History. Is that where you wanted to go? Sure. It sounds real interesting. All that ancient prehistoric history stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, Scrappy. Let's go to a place that's even more interesting. Really? What place is that? The real prehistoric past. Better roll up the window, Scrappy. We're headed into outer space. Ever been through time, lad? Not yet. But how can we, Mighty Mouse? Well, it's probably too complicated for you to understand, Scrappy. But by orbiting the Earth counterclockwise at subsonic hydro speed, we can dissimilate the center of particles of present time. Key! So how do we do that? Simple. We put it in reverse. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Um, but... Hey, look out the window, Scrappy! You can see the pages of history go by! Hey, I read about all these creatures in my comic books! Hang on, Scrappy! We're about to land! I've 
gotta get those brakes checked. Uh, are you okay, Scrappy? That was fun. Will you let me drive next time? Welcome to prehistory, little buddy. We're right where we started, only it's millions of years ago. Well, how do you know that? Take a look for yourself. Mouseville, USA, to be built on this spot one million years from now. Yeah! Oh, boy! I want to get some ancient relics and artifacts. I'll show the kids back in school. Let me at them! What is it, Mighty Mouse? I don't know. Uh, an earthquake, maybe? Or... Wait! I know! in that volcano. Boy, someday I want to be as brave as Mighty Mouse. Not today, though. Mighty Mouse? Oh, no. I hope nothing's happened to him. He owes me money. I, 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 better, I better go look for him. I wouldn't want to be stuck out here alone. Is this the end of Mighty Mouse? Has our hero been overcome by this battle against the forces of nature? And what will become of poor little Scrappy? Poor little Scrappy has his own problems right now. Anybody home? No! Hi! My name is Scrappy. Please don't eat us! Aw, oh, you guys got it all wrong. I just want to be friends with you, that's all. Really? Why, sure. Now, what's your names? Well, my name is Grok. He's called Snack. And this is my sister, Grudy. Pleased to meet you. Do you guys really live in here? <laughs> have to. I think you met one of the reasons why. Yeah, I can see your point. Gosh, if only Mighty Mouse were here, he'd show those goony cats. Mighty Mouse? Who's he? Oh, he's my hero. The fastest, strongest, bravest mouse in the whole world. And if he were here right now, I bet he would... <laughs> Who will help these brave mice? What has happened to our hero? Oh, hey, look what you almost stepped in. Well, what do you know? It's a mouse. Gee, boy, is he ugly. Yeah. Mm, but I bet he'd be great with a little pineapple sauce. Go tell the boys to start up the walk. Mm, oh. <laughs> yes, sir. It's gonna be a hot time in the old griddle tonight. <laughs> Things go bad. Gosh, what do you think it is? What did you say? I said, what do you think it is? I don't know, Scrappy. I've never seen it before. What do you think, Rudy? Well, maybe it's a transcendental icon sent here by a race of extraterrestrial super beings who are trying to preserve our existence. Nah. nah. Hey, what's wrong, guys? Oh, no. What is it, more tiger cats? Worse than that. It's the most dangerous creature of them all! Ladies, where are you? We need you! Grappy, in trouble? <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? 
why the main course is going on. On the serving dish, that is. <laughs> I think I let him cook a little too long, boys. He's really tough. Always remember, kids, never leave a fire burning. Mighty Mouse! Where are you? <laughs> Here I come to save the day! You see? That's Mighty Mouse! Kinda short, isn't he? Boy, did I put in some overtime today! Well, at least you won't have to worry about those giants anymore! <laughs> well, Scrappy, what do you think of the past? Well, it's a nice place to visit, but I'll take Kansas. Do you think we'll ever see them again? <laughs> Gee, Mighty Mouse, this has been the best field trip I've ever been on. That's great, Scrappy. Did you learn a lot about the past? I sure did. Good. I'll tell you what you learned. Always remember, those who don't know about the past are doomed to repeat it. Gosh, did I learn that? <laughs> you bet you did, and so did the kids at home. And so I brought back this piece of Peloponnesian cheese to show you all today. That's very nice, dear. And how about you, Scrappy? What do you have to show us? Well, well Miss Great Point, I. I don't have anything to show you but this genuine Barbasaurus egg from the prehistoric age. You're choosing making soup from scratch. And you serve that peanut butter? It's a leading brand, and they're all alike. Wrong. New Jif's better. What's new about Jif? Well, New Jif's the fine grind peanut butter. Fine grind? Jif's peanuts are ground even finer to get out all the flavorful goodness. Smell yours. So? Now Jif. Smells more like fresh peanuts. Tastes Jif. Tastes, tastes better, really better. Choosy mothers choose New Jif. Now it's fine grind. Play-Doh. They love it. That's because they can do so much with it. You're the Play-Doh boy. Right. Kids love to squish it and squash it and roll it. But most of all, kids like Play-Doh because they can make anything they imagine. I remember you. I remember you, too. Play-Doh. Touch me all this, Mommy. Oh, I had a little help. <laughs>
tricks. You know, oh, yeah. you know oh, he's gonna pull us through. Right. So pull and show, please. Set the TV screen for the most wonderful cat that you ever seen. He's always disrupting you. It's Felix the cat, and he's here for you. It's Felix the cat, and he's here for you. It's Felix the cat, and he's here They call me the Professor, and this is my laboratory. And with lots of scientific paraphernalia, uh, yes, 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 I produce a four-ounce jar of raspberry jam at a cost of only $9,230, less tax. I have the latest electronic equipment. And this is my office, uh, with extensive research library, and lots of books, scientific achievements. At age nine months, I had read a thousand educational books, and unaided, I made my first stink bomb. The next day, uh, we moved to Mexico. Yes, yes, yes. At the age of eight, my first moon rocket. And now, my newest invention. I can turn diamonds into jelly beans. But do you think I'm happy? No! I'm frustrated, 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 frustrated! You ask why? Felix the cat and his bag of tricks. It's magic. I'll make a canoe. Magic and more magic. I try to get the bag like this. <laughs> and then, like this. I send him into outer space to get rid of him. Now he's a hero. But I have just perfected an electronic brainwasher for Felix. Brainwashing machine. Felix! Felix, you are in my power. Don't move. Old Duffelhead again. I'll just humor him. Now the cat liquefier. One squeeze on the giant eyedropper, and poof! Up comes Felix in liquid form. <laughs> I've got Felix and his magic bag. Now I'll squeeze the secret out of him. I finally captured you, Felix. With my cat liquefier, you're helpless. Just when I want you <laughs> in my power. <laughs> One good squeeze, a year supply of black ink. But here's the real prize is his bag of tricks. Now to solve the the mystery. My my, what a temper! inside the bag. I'll get my super hi-fi sneaker look. 
double exposed X-ray. Why, there's n n n nothing inside. What to do? I know. I'll make Felix show me how to work the bag. I'll release you if you show me the secret. What? I'll leave you in that bottle forever. Okay, it's quite comfortable in here. Please, Felix, please. Do just one trick for me. Please, please. Okay, just one. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll be eternally grateful. I'll change you back to normal. I'll never really let him go. <laughs> Remember your promise, Felix. Oh, yes, sir. Now, a little pull here, and there a little pat. And what have we got from Felix the cat? <laughs> the fool. Look, Professor, a super one-cat jet job. Clever, clever, Felix. But will it work? Let's find out, Professor. Today, the United States is engaged in a gigantic effort to send men to the moon. For this effort, Pillsbury has developed many special foods. Here is the first one to be made available to the public, space food sticks. To meet the demands of a long space flight, space food sticks had to be a compact, nutritious, high energy food. That's why they make the perfect between meal energy snack. Energy for hard play, energy for hard work. Lasting energy to feel alive. If that sounds better than some of the things your family fills up on between meals, you should try Space Food Sticks for good nutrition and lasting energy in a chewy, tasty snack food. Chocolate, caramel, and peanut butter. About 44 calories. At your grocer's next to the instant breakfast section. Space Food Sticks, the energy snack from U.S. Aerospace Research and Pillsbury. Baxter? Oh, it's a lovely day. Yes, indeed it is. Just going to give my dog Cuddles a bath. Baxter, you're sunburned. Oh, get in the shade, man. I... Oh, now, where's that dog? Cuddles! Here you are, Cuddles, dog. Cuddles, Cuddles. Oh, Cuddles, dog. Oh, where are you, boy? Where? <laughs> ah, good morning, officer. Now, look here, shorty. Shorty, my name is Magoo. I don't care what your name is. Your dog ain't got a license tag. License? Why, officer, I walk the dog. I don't drive him. I walk the dog. Oh, I don't drive him. a wise guy, eh? Now 
listen, Magoo. Either that mutt has a license by noon, or he goes to the pound. <clears throat> Why, you insolent cad, sir. What is your badge number? Hmm. 716. I'll remember that. Blockhead. Oh, never you mind, boy. Oh, they won't lay a finger on you, Coddled. We'll go down and get that license as soon as you've had your bath. Where'd he go? Cuddles. Oh, Cuddles, darling. Here, boy, here, boy, here, boy. Nope. Not in there. Here, Cuddles. Come on, boy. Turn off that confounded radio, Baxter. Cuddles can't hear me. Cuddles. Oh, my lover dog. He's been dog napped. Why, those bureaucratic bums. I'll turn City Hall and try My dog from under my nose. <laughs> ah, taxi! Taxi! City Hall, bud, and step on it. Ah, ah, here we are. Nice work, Cabby. <laughs> High running board. Ah, here's an information booth. Where's the mayor's office, clerk? How would I know, Rube? Go on, beat it. Beat it? Why, you impudent puppy. I'll have you disbarred. Pay taxes, you get in solid. A uh, confounded government red tape. Hello! Uh, bailiff, I'd like to see the mayor. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're very comfortable. Throw your weight around and get a little action. <laughs> yes, that's the way you do it. And I'll just wait here <laughs> until his honor sees me. If you want anything, you gotta go right to the top. Higher up you go, the faster action you get. All right. <laughs> I've waited long enough. I'm going in. Yes, yes, well, uh, here it is. The mayor's office. There you are, Your Honor. Oh, I'd know you anywhere from your campaign pictures. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, your license department made off with my dog and... Uh... <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. Don't give me any of that legal double talk. Now, shall I start a recall election or do I get some action? <laughs> Oh, oh, the old bum's rush, eh? Cuddles! Oh, no, wait, I'll just take the law into my own hands. <laughs> Don't you worry, boy. We're going home, boy. Do you hear? <coughs> now we'll just get this old leash on. There. Come on, Cuddles. Where'd he go? <coughs> Easy now, Cuddles. Don't be so enthusiastic. The panther's loose! The Panther's loose! <laughs> Must be lunchtime. Oh, blasted clock watchers. Aha, the paper. <laughs> Here you are. Carry it home, boy. Ooh, 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 we're getting hungry, eh, Cuddles? <laughs> Well, now, we'll go right in and get you a poochie biscuit. you like that, won't you? And then, then down for that old license, eh? I warned you, Magoo. Now I'm taking away your yak. Yak? He's a spaniel. <laughs> Here's your license, Magoo. Free of charge. Just call off this animal! Yellow, eh? <laughs> Go on, Cuddles. Call him off! Very well. Here, Cuddles. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs> Pretty bobble. <laughs> Baxter, shut up that dad ratted radio. Sounds like a cat in a wash tub. We can't stand that modern music. Can we, Cuddles? Oh, darling little dog. <laughs> Get us lucky, 
Always after be Lucky Charms, the Frosted Oat cereal with sweet surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Part of a complete breakfast. Oh, they're coming. I'll make a rocket and fly away. Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. Dog, do you know who you got there? Yeah, I got me a desperate criminal muskrat. You got Lynx the Jinx, that's who. When that boy's around, everything in the world happens. See what I mean, Deputy Dog? He's a real Jinx. I didn't break in the store. I, I, I didn't break in the store, Deputy Dog. It, it just happened. I believe you. I believe you. Let's get out of the rain there, boy. Yeah, I'll let you go there, Link. As soon as I find the keys to these here handcuffs. Now what's wrong, Deputy Dog? Dag nabbit, I left the handcuffs keys in the jailhouse. Dag nabbit. You're the jinx and it's jinx I ever saw. You better get the handcuff key and let that boy go, Deputy Dog. Yeah, come on, Lynx. Stay behind me there, boy. Let's not try to walk under anything. Oh, my nose bone. Stay at arm's length there, boy, and let's get to the jailhouse first. <laughs> No use trying no, 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 no use trying to fight the jinx, Deputy Dog. Your only chance is to get that handcuff key, Deputy Dog. I'm telling you, I'm, not, I'm telling you, Deputy Dog, you, you, you can't beat the jinx. I'm not trying to beat it. I'm just trying to protect myself from it. <laughs> Look out for the loose rocks there, Deputy Dog. Oh man, he done jinxed off an avalanche there. <laughs> Is old Deputy Dog all right? I can feel his po I, can, I can feel his pulse. It's still it's still kicking around a little. Let's get him out of there, boy. You'd better get to the jailhouse for that handcuff key, Deputy Dog. Yeah, let's go, Lynx. I can't stand much more there, boy. I'm not going to take any chances on that dilapidated bridge. Good thinking there, Deputy Dog. You know, I don't believe you're going to last long enough to get to the jail, Deputy Dog. Me either, Muskie. Go get me a hammer and chisel, boy. Okay, Muskie. Let her go, boy. Change places with me there, Link. Now, whop her again, Musky. Man, he's a super jinx there, Deputy Dog. How fast can you run there, Link? It's a, a, a tolerable fast, Deputy Dog. Then stick with me, boy. We're making a break for the jailhouse. <laughs> Now I'll get that key and let you go there, Lynx. I'm not taking any chances there. You just you just can't fight you just can't fight the jinx, Deputy Dog. Hey, Deputy Dog, I've got an idea there, boy. Soak up your wrists in the goose grease there, and maybe we can pull you loose. By golly, 
I think you got something there, Musty. Now hang on to the jailhouse links and pull! <laughs> Hooray! The jinx is broken! We landed in something soft there, Musky! So long, Lynx, and good luck there, boy! Uh, you can keep the handcuffs. So long, Ebony Dog. So, 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 goodbye, Musky. Phew! Safe and left. I've got a suspicious character for you to lock up, Deputy Dog. Found him wandering out there with handcuffs on. <laughs> now, what in turn, Nation, got into them? Conjunction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Conjunction, junction, how's that function? I got three favorite cards that get most of my job done. Conjunction, junction, what's their function? I got and, button, or, they'll get you pretty far. And, that's an additive, like this and that. Or the opposite, not this, but that. And then there's or, O R. When you have a choice like this or that, and but no, get you pretty far. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up two box cars and making them run right. Milk and honey, bread and butter, peas and rice. Hey, that's nice. Dirty but happy, digging and scratching, losing your shoe and a button or two. He's poor but honest, sad but true. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up two cards to one when you say something like this. Choice, either now or later, or no choice. Neither now nor ever. Hey, that's clever. Eat this or that, to grow thin or fat. Never mind, I wouldn't do that. I'm fat enough now. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up phrases and clauses that balance like out of the frying pan and into the fire. He cut loose the sandbags, but the balloon wouldn't go any higher. Let's go up to the mountains or down to the seas. You should always say thank you or at least say please. What's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses in complex sentences like In the mornings when I'm usually wide awake I love to take a walk through the gardens and down by the lake Where I often see a duck and a drake And I wonder as I walk by just what they'd say if they could speak Although I know that's an absurd thought Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up cars and making them function. Conjunction, junction, how's that function? I like tying up words and phrases and clauses. Conjunction, junction, watch that function. I'm gonna get you there if you're very careful. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I'm going to get you there if you're very careful. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I'm going to get you there if you're very careful. 
Hey, get a load of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's all the hubbub? Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, hey, Mac. Let me take a whack at it. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> Him. He's silly. Thank you. 
This is ideal. Try as a bone. What more could a rabbit want? Hey, what's that? Looks like we've given the slip, Muggsy. Yeah, Rocky, we sure did. I wish I was smart like you, boss. Turn it on the radio. Okay, boss. The police believe the robbery is the work of the notorious Rocky and his pal Muggsy. They were last seen on the Turn it off the radio. The bridge. Gee, some haul. Yeah, all 14 carat. Carrots? Carrots? Who, what, where, when, who, where, where, what, where, who, when? Hey, Muggsy, we better get some shut eye if and we're gonna pull that job tomorrow. Okay, boss. Why, those dirty crooks? Someone ought to teach them crime doesn't pay. And it looks like that someone's gotta be me. Hello, Colin Rocky. Hello, Rocky. Am I getting true to you, Rocky? They're saying you trust your pal Muggsy with that suitcase of jewelry. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Look at Muggsy laying over there pretending he's asleep. <laughs> and all the time he's thinking, getting ideas. <laughs> That'll teach us to get ideas. But, boss, you know I don't get any ideas. Well, see that you don't. Listen, Rocky, you're not gonna be fooled by that smooth talk, are you? They don't call him the Detroit Butcher for nothing. He's probably waiting for you to fall asleep. And then... <laughs> Dirty scheme didn't wait, did it? That Rocky. <laughs> A million laughs. <laughs> <laughs> that Rocky. <laughs> Muggsy, Jimmy. But, 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 boss, I... Oh. 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 Ah. Maybe that'll teach us. Now get back on a couch and go to sleep. Okay, boss. Hey, Muggsy. Kimmy. Give me a light. Okay, boss. Yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah. Gee, I'm glad you're not mad at me no more. <laughs> Now you're mad at me again. But, but, boy, I... Now get in the other room. Now go to sleep!
off those skates. So you want a showdown, eh? Why, you... I think you're the right one for the job. Just keep those kids away from my chocolate Easter bunnies. Don't worry. They don't call me Super Sleuth Duck for nothing. Thanks. I love symbols of authority. Senior Mayor, behold how sad the children are. They will have no chocolate bunnies in their Easter baskets. I will see what I can do. Senior Guard, we are very poor, and it is Easter, and the children have no chocolate Easter bunnies. Well, that's their tough luck. We have pesos. We can pay. It's not enough, but I'll take this, and when you get more, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Which will be nothing. Now scram, Buster! You gave them all our money. Now we have nothing. We can pay the duck later. What we need now is a volunteer to bring us the chocolate bunnies. My cousin, Speedy Gonzalez, he can help us. He is the fastest mouse in all Mexico. Well, don't stand there. Go get him. See. Buenos dias, senor mayor. How can I be of service? That duck took our money, but he didn't give us our chocolate Easter bunnies. I will get them for you. Here I come, senor duck, to get the chocolate bunnies for the niños. Oh, yeah? Well, you gotta get by me first. <laughs> Complimentos. Gracias, señor Speedy. Por nada. Oh, it's nothing. Bring me one. Bring me one, too. Hey, Speedy, get one for me. I bring everybody one. If I am under, under, Gracias, Senor Speedy. This time that revved up rodent is in for a big surprise. All right, rodent, surrender that chocolate. 
funny or else. Look up against me first. What else can happen to me today? I had to ask. Looks like he's gonna try it again, but this time, I'm ready for him. Unos dos tres, ready or not, here I come. This is the end of the line, mouse. join in the festivities. Being dipped in chocolate has sweetened his disposition, I think. Charlie, baby. Hey. What you got, fish? A do-it-yourself kit for stockers, type tuners. <laughs> the hook has sequins to show good taste. All right. Okay, stockers, catch. <laughs> yeah, man, but stockers doesn't want tunas with good taste. Ready? Starkiss wants tunas that taste good. Sorry, Charlie. Only good-tasting tuna get to be starkissed. Good-tasting 100% tuna fillet. This is good-tasting tuna. Get good taste. Get starkissed. There's a new store in town. There's a new Moms and dads, are you looking for a bicycle, tricycle, football? Looking for a model kit, chess set, doll? Looking for game time, playtime, fun time? Well, stop your looking and start to shop, and it's a store that has them all. The world's biggest toy store is Toys R Us. The biggest selection, Toys R Us. Soup and biscuits for hard-working smurfs. Thank you, greedy. There you go, baby smurf. <laughs> greedy, you're the hardest-working smurf of all. He sure is. Let's see. He serves 101 smurfs three meals a day. Why, that's exactly... Uh, 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 well, anyway, it's a smurf load of smurfs. Oh, well, I enjoy serving my fellow smurfs. Almost as much as I enjoy serving myself. <laughs> Those Smurfs should ever miss a meal, and I'm going to make sure Miner Smurf doesn't miss his. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Smurfette, if you don't say that you love me, I'll be blue as I can get. Is that you in there, Miner? Sure, and I hope so. But it's mighty dark, so I can't be sure. Hot soup and biscuits, Miner. Ah, lunch is it. 
Bless you, greedy smurf. May your heart always be as big as your appetite. Let me just finish this. Oh, wow. Hey, Femme Gora. Don't you believe it's some sort of a crown? What do you suppose it's doing way down here? Sure, not something I don't be knowing. What I do know, we'd better be taking it to Papa Smurf. Just as fast as our wee feet can smurf us. Minor, minor, minor. Papa Smurf took baby to visit Mother Nature. He won't be back until dark. Then it's to Mother Nature's I must be taking it. But you certainly cannot carry that heavy crown that far. You must leave the crown with a trustworthy Smurf. Hmm. Sure, and you're right. Greedy, let no other Smurf touch this crown until Papa Smurf says it's safe. You can trust me, Miner. Yes, but only because crowns aren't edible. And so, I left the crown with Greedy for safekeeping. Hmm, a crown buried under our forest. Very curious. <laughs> and distressing. Uh-oh. There are, in fact, two magic crowns buried under the Smurf forest. Long, long ago, two mighty titans battled for supremacy in the world. Each titan wore a magical crown that could force any creature to obey any command. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Oh, I command you to be a bunny rabbit. Now hop to it. Needless to say, the Titan's battle made life pretty miserable for the other forest creatures. I command you to be a gorilla. But the crowns had equal powers. It took many centuries of struggle before the two Titans realized neither could win. I command you to be a, a, a yellow-bellied sapsucker with a bad wing. <sighs> Wait! Hold! We already did that one! We did? Very well. Then I command you to be uh, a yellow-bellied sapsucker with two bad... No! 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 Look, nobody's ever gonna win this battle. You're right. We have wasted away our lives with this struggle. Not to mention making a mess of this beautiful forest. What do you say we stop this silly war, throw away our magic crowns, and make the most of the three or four hundred years we have left in our lives? Yeah! Maybe go out and find some titanesses. And so the two titans called a truce and threw away their crowns. At long last, peace came to the forest. And so it is written that peace shall reign as long as the two crowns remain buried. Then sure, and we're in trouble, Mother Nature, because that be the crown I dug up this very morning. Oh, dear. There could be very serious trouble if that crowd gets into the wrong hand. Or onto the wrong head. Does, uh, uh, Rainy know you found this crown? Aye, Papa Smurf. <laughs> then we are in trouble. Mother Nature, you'd better watch over Baby for a while. Oh, 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 oh I'd be delighted, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Miner, come with me. Ouch! Violence is uncalled for, Greedy Smurf. Sorry, Brainy, but I promised Miner I wouldn't let any Smurf touch it. I can't understand why you won't let me just try it on. Aren't you the least bit curious about what it would feel like to be a king? Nope, I just want to be a cook. What a stirring occupation. But I must admit, it is kind of tempting. Go ahead, try it on. What can it hurt? Uh-uh-uh. Remember, you promised Miner you wouldn't. Why do you have to obey Miner? Besides, you only promised Miner you'd let no other Smurf touch the crown. Miner didn't say I couldn't try it on. After all, you are the king of the cooks, aren't you? After all, I am the king of the cooks, aren't I? <laughs> Presenting Greedy Smurf, the master chef. Greedy Smurf, the master chef. Chef Greedy, the master Smurf. That's it. Greedy! The master's master! Greedy! The master's master! Come and get it! <laughs> You're gonna 
when I get it, all right. <laughs> hey, Greedy, what's cooking? Did you forget to feed us the dessert? Today marks the beginning of a new way of life for the Smurfs. Henceforth, you will all obey the commands of Greedy Smurf, the Master Smurf. Master Smurf? Yeah! <laughs> Greedy sure is funny! Yeah! <laughs> You'd better stick to cook, King! <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny! <laughs> Here, Master Smurf, here's something that is funny! You little fool! Allow me to demonstrate the power of the Master Smurf! <laughs> in the village square. Yes, Master Smurf. And the rest of my followers, you will begin smurfing fruits and nuts by the millions. Yes, Master Smurf. You will bring this food to the village square. Yes, Master Smurf. And there you will build a giant monument to me, the Master Smurf. <laughs> Suppose Greedy rang the dinner bell so early? Uh, maybe he's gonna start feeding us four meals a day. I wouldn't be surprised. Hefty, why aren't you working on the dam? And Painter, is the work at the bridge finished already? We are picking fruits and nuts for the Master Smurf. Something very strange is going on. Very strange indeed. <laughs> Let me assure you, it will be my great escape, Master Smurf. Let me assure you, the Master Smurf expects the best. Why aren't you Smurfs doing your chores? Ah, Papa Smurf, the former leader of the Smurfs. Greedy, stop the blarney and be giving Papa Smurf that crown. Why don't you stand there, Minor Smurf? There's work to be done! Sure, and I'll do it, Master Smurf. Amazing! Amazing indeed, Papa Smurf! You see, this crown gives me the power to make any creature obey me! Oh dear, something evil has gotten into Greedy! Gosh, did he think it was something he ate? It's that crown! Did you see what he did to Miner? My power can demand even you, Papa Smurf! Now, Greedy, stop and think a moment! You will obey! The Master Smurf! Great Smurf! <laughs> That's right, Papa Smurf! I am a great Smurf! I am the greatest Smurf! <laughs> now, Papa Smurf, go to your house and stay there. Yes, Master Smurf. Oh, oh no, he did it to Papa Smurf too. What are we gonna do? Oh, we'd better hide in the forest until it gets dark. We'll try to rescue Papa Smurf after every Smurf is asleep. This is not a catnap, Azriel. Now move over. Well, well, well. What have we here? If it isn't Gargamel. I was going to get around to you sooner or later. We must be asleep and just dreaming of Smurfs, Azriel. But let's eat them anyway. <laughs> Yo, move! <laughs> I command you to be a scaredy cat! <laughs> what have you done to my cat? Oh well, it just means more Smurf stew for me. <laughs> Gargamel, I command you to be a dog! Oh, don't be ridiculous, you little... <laughs> Sit, Gargamel! <laughs> Now fetch! <laughs> Good boy, Dogamel! Good boy! <laughs> Say, what's going on here? That Smurf with a crown cast some sort of a spell on me. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. 
Unfortunately, we'll never make it to Papa Smurf's house without being seen. All we have to do is pretend to be under Greedy's power. Come on. Oh, Papa Smurf, can you hear me? Water, water, water. Oh, poor Papa Smurf. He's thirsty. Uh, I'll go get him some water. Uh, is there anything else we can smurf for you, Papa Smurf? Water, water, water. We're too late, Smurfette. Water, water. Papa Smurf is hopelessly under Greedy's spell. What are you doing here? Oh, gosh, Hefty. Uh, oh, uh, 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 I mean, oh, uh, gosh, Hefty. I am just getting water for uh, uh, our leader. Very well. Go ahead. Water, oh, don't worry, dear water, Papa Smurf. Water. Here comes Clumsy now. Uh, here you go, Papa Smurf. Don't drink it too fast now. <gasps> it appears that Papa Smurf has developed a drinking problem. <laughs> oh, thank you, my little Smurfs. It is just as I expected. A splash of water is all it takes to remove the magic crown spell. Then all we have to do is splash water on all the Smurfs. Oh, gosh. I better get more water. No, no, my brave little Smurfs. Greedy would just use his power to stop us. We must go to Mother Nature's. She has a book that may tell us how to stop the power of the magic crown. Did follower Clumsy bring the water you requested, Master Smurf? Water? Water? I requested no water. Water is very dangerous to my plans. Excuse me, Master Smurf. Clumsy be one of the missing Smurfs. Smurfette, Brainy, and Baby aren't on the list either. They're trying to free their precious Papa Smurf! Sound the alarm! Ask for them! What if Mother Nature can't help us? Then I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> We've been discovered! Run! Stop those imposters! Which way did they smurf, Master Smurf? Am I expected to know everything? Spread out and search! Yes, Master Smurf. How did they ever get by without me? Ah. Hurry, my little Smurfs. We can be at Mother Nature's by daybreak. Oh, yes, Papa Smurf. There is one way you can control the magic crown. Unfortunately, it means finding the other magic crown. It will be very dangerous, but if you do find it, you must read this magic chant before putting on the crown. Otherwise, the crown will control you, just like the other crown controls poor Greedy. I've looked up every spell from Abracadabra to Zippity Doodah. It must have something to do with that crown. <coughs> What's wrong now, you stupid cat? <coughs> Even my wonderful, nasty Azriel has been turned into a scaredy cat by that smurf. Aha! I should have known. That spell isn't waterproof. That's why jumping in the river freed me from the spell. <laughs> now all I have to do is find that little blue... Huh? What's this? Aha! So there you are, you stinking smurf. Well, don't fall down and break your crown before I get there. Somewhere around here is the underground maze that leads to the second crown. If my calculations are correct, the maze begins in there. <laughs> Golly! Garlamel! 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 Yes, your stupid statue led me right to your village. And my special spell soaker will keep me from falling under your spell, Mr. Smurf. That's Mr. Smurf! <laughs> yeah, you're powerless against me now. Come down from there and meet your match, Master Smurf. Come down, come down, come down! Oh, no! Yeah! Yum! 
Fruitcake sure goes down easy. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Uh-oh. Looks like the wet spell is over, Gargamel. <laughs> I command you to be a buzzard. Now fly away. Far away. Yes, Master Smurf. Ruff, ruff. Oh, how I hate those Smurfs! It's a dead end! But I don't understand it! According to the map, Papa Smurf, the crown should be right here! Hmm... You're right, Brainy! I'm afraid Mother Nature's map is wrong! Gash, what's going on? It's a Smurf quake! Ah! Is every Smurf all right? Yes, yes Papa Smurf. Smurf. Well, that settles it. We'll never find the other crown now. Uh, you're right, Brainy. Uh, unless we look over there. Oh. oh! We have found the golden crown of the Titans. Master Smurf, Papa Smurf and the others are approaching the village. Ah, this will be most pleasurable. Come, my faithful followers. Come and watch your master do away with Papa Smurf once and for all. Um, uh, Papa Smurf, I've been thinking. I'd be more than happy to wear the magic crown and face greedy. Absolutely not. Just trying to be helpful. Azriel! Azriel! Where are you, you miserable furball? Quick, Dr. Mel's coming. Hide. Yoo-hoo! Azriel! Now is as good a time as any to see if this magic crown works. Whoops! I almost forgot Mother Nature's magic chant. <laughs> crown, crown, found underground. Weave your magic round and round. Titan crown size extra large. Just remember who's in charge. Huh? Papa Smurf, what a pleasant surprise. It certainly is, isn't it, Gargamel? Oh, no, not another crown. Gargamel, I command you to be a donkey. Oh, don't be... Oh, 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 oh. Well, Papa Smurf, how's it feel to be so powerful? Not bad, huh? <laughs> With this crown, you can be king of the wizards. <laughs> What's so funny? You might as well forget it. This is Papa Smurf you're talking to. Oh, yeah. You can come out now, my little Smurfs. Gargamel is gone. Oh, it worked. You got rid of Gargamel. And now I'll get rid of you, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Prepare to meet your master, Papa Smurf. I command you to be a chicken. <laughs> Oh, this doesn't look good, Papa Smurf. I command you to be a snake. How long is this going to go on? It's just like the Titan. Papa Smurf, neither one of you is going to win. I am afraid you are right, Smurfette, unless... Unless I can trick him into... That's it. Greedy Smurf, you are a bat. But bats hang upside down during the day, you know. Well, well, well what happened? Yay! Yay! Uh, uh, what are we yaying about? Can you say goodbye to Mother Nature, Baby Smurf? <laughs> Close enough. Goodbye, my friendly Smurfs. Never again will these magic crowns threaten your forest. Hmm. I wonder where she'll hide the magic crowns, Papa Smurf. Where no Smurf will ever find them. Just asking. <laughs> oh, gosh, Greedy. Looks like you'll be eating fruitcake for a long time. For some reason, even the sight of fruitcake makes me sick. I couldn't eat a single bite. Oh, dear. Whatever will we do with all this fruitcake, Papa Smurf? Well, Smurfette, perhaps we can give it to our friends during the holidays. Ah, <laughs> Okay.
helicopter, two Lego tow trucks, come in tow truck. Emergency on Sunnydale Bridge. Past Lego Village, up a level. Get the bus back on the bridge. We ought to make a safety rail. Here's some more Lego building bricks. With Lego, you can build buses and houses and bridges and helicopters, even the new safety rail on the Sunnydale Bridge. Helicopters to tow truck, telephone pole, down on Main Street. Lego building set 145 has wheels, windows, movable shutters and doors, and hundreds of bricks for building. There's no end to Lego. Heavens to hilarity! This is it, sports fans! Participants even! Television's greatest array of stars, Laugh Olympics, presents the Round the World triple team competition between the Yogi Yahoois, the Scooby Doobies, and the Really Rotten's. The players are on the field, in the stadium even, so let's get on with it! Laugh Olympics! Welcome once again to the Laugh Olympics. Today, we'll take you to glorious Acapulco for our first series of events. Then, around the world to jolly old England for some excitingly different contests, where our three teams, the Scooby Doobies, the Yogi Yahooies, and the Really Rottens, will race to the top of Big Ben to conclude today's matches. So now, let's switch to Snagglepuss, our on-the-scene reporter, high atop the Acapulco Cliffs, for the start of our first event. Senor Snagglepuss here, to start our first event. Cliff diving. From these high rocks, our three terrified, I mean brave competitors, will jump 400 feet to a shallow pool of water. Our panel of judges will score them on their style. Down in the gorge is Mildew Wolf. Come in, Mildew. Come in, nothing. The object is to land in the water, which comes in and out. If a diver jumps in too soon, he'll land right here. <laughs> Flatter than a tortilla. The idea is to time the waves as they come in. Get it. <coughs> Take it away, Snag. I got it. Suffering sombreros. It's none other than the team captain, ready for his first dive. The incomparable Yogi Bear. Ladies and gentlemen. An odd hush, silence even, comes over the crowd as Yogi goes through the pre-dive ritual of a true champion. It. Stage up. Yogi is doing a triple somersault. Degree of difficulty, 12.7. Heavens to Murgatroyd. He's doing a double triple. A triple triple, yes. A quintuple triple spin. Degree of difficulty, 47,892.6 even. This has never been done before. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Yogi missed the gorge. He gets no points for his team, and it looks like he owes somebody for a boat. Gee, this stands that Gavin was spirit. It's a bad break for the Yogis, and a unanimous zero from the judges. Oh, and now, jumping for the Rotten Team are the Dalton brothers, who will attempt a triple team tandem. <laughs> Let's jump! You first, Dink! Mm. Lots of luck, Rottens! Now, Dink, now! You've got to hand it to the Dolphins. They brought their own water with them. Or did they? Dinky Dalton splashed all the water out of there. Sometimes I wonder, Dink, if you're with us or a Guinness. Here's Dynamut getting ready to jump for the Scooby Doobies. Get out there, Dog Wonder. <laughs> Dynamut thanks you. Dog Wonder thanks you. Me, myself, and I thank you. The Dog Wonder Association thanks you. I will you knock off the thank yous. Go, Dog Wonder. Go. 
What forum? What grace? What elegance, even? I'll say. He barely got his feet wet. Wait, wait. Apparently, there's been a protest. Indubitably. A protest, indeed. Illegal extension of the legs. Let's take another look at that, once again, even, from our hidden, surreptitious camera. A definite extension, all right. So let's get back to the judges. How about that? It's a Dog Wonder-style jump and perfectly legal. The Super Scoobies get 25 for their first place performance. The Really Rottens take second place and get 15 points. And the Yogi Yahoo is finished third and receive 10 points. Uh, I can't yes, believe uh, you. Uh, Now we'll switch to another location. We bring you the underwater relay race, already in progress. It's the last lap. <laughs> As they approach the finish line, Mumbly of the Rottens and the Scooby's Blue Falcon are neck and neck. <laughs> While the Yogi Yahoo's Doggy Daddy is dog paddling far back. It's going to be close. It's Mumbly and Blue Falcon. It's the Blue Falcon and Mumbly. Wait a minute, hold it. A school of fish are approaching the course. This could prove tricky. Huh? The traffic controller is stopping the school right in front of Blue Falcon's lane. <laughs> the Rottens win. <laughs> no justice will triumph over evil in the end. I protest. I protest. I must protest. Portful octopus used illegal use of a hand. The protest has been made. We'll see it on the isolated camera. And here's your official race replay. And it's a subterfuge. It's a double foul. Illegal use of hands. And Tolan with a piano wire. They must take rotten lessons. Let's get a ruling from our guest referee. Hmm. <laughs> Play! Rotten's in third! So it's Scooby's 25, Yogi's 15, Rotten's 10. And there you have it. The Scoobies are in first place with 50 points. Now down to the marina, where a snag is standing by for the start of the speedboat race. Yay! Snagglepuss here, as the boats are in the gate. The starting bell is imminent, even. Wally Gator, what do you think about your chances of winning the race? Nothing to it, you see. We alligators are right at home in the water, you know. <laughs> How about you, Jinxie? Well, uh, I like uh, can't lose, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm using Miss Power, you know. Give me that microphone. It ain't gonna be no contest. Us rottens are gonna... The boats are in the starting lineup. They will race this torturous course to the finish line. And... They're off! Come on, come on, you guys! Oh, Pixie. Ugh, I am! <laughs> I hate Mises to pieces! The Rottens and the Scoobies are off to a quick lead, while the Yogi Boat is still trying to get started. And there she goes! The Yogi Boat seems to be going nowhere. The Scoobies are ahead, but the Rottens are leaning on their horn, trying to catch them. Move that hay burner out of the way! With Wally Gator at the rudder, the Yogis are zigging and zagging to catch up. Uh, I don't mind the zigging. Yeah, it's the zagging I can't stand. The Rottens are trying to pass, but the Scoobies are clinging desperately to the lead. That's what you think. Abracadabra. <laughs> Goodness to gracious. It's an outboard. It's an inboard. Whatever it is, it's not a bug board. Hold everything. The yogis have come to a stop. 
All right, you guys. <laughs> Let's get the meat power going. I'd like to give him some meat power. Yeah, that pow. Pedal, Mises. Pedal. And here come the students. They're making their first move for first place. Uh -huh. Wrong again. Where there's fun do, there's smoke for Scooby Doo. How about that? A smoke screen. Hold on. <coughs> I protest. <coughs> I. <coughs> what was that you were saying, Huckleberry? Come on. We don't. As they pass the outer buoys heading for home, it appears the Rottens have an insurmountable lead. But whatever happened to the Yogi boat? It, uh, it can't be. Don't look now, but, uh, we are coming to a tunnel. Yikes! Oh, what a way to go! Yeah, dinner for a whale! Who's got the salt and pepper? Relax, fellow. <laughs> I got the pepper, and the whale's gonna get it. <laughs> the two other teams race on. The Rottens have the lead, but the Scoobies are coming on strong. Let's just hope, you know, that this pepper does it. <laughs> At the finish, it's the Rottens. It's the Yogi's first, the Rotten second, and the Scooby's third. It's still any man's game. The Scoobies are in first with 60. An unbelievable finish by the Yogi's. And as we say aloha to sunny Acapulco, stay tuned for more Laugh Olympics coming up later from jolly old England. Welcome, sports fans, to the Laugh Olympics from historic Old England. As we left Acapulco, the Scoobies were first with 60, the Yogis were second with 50, and the really Rottens were third with 40. Now to Snagglepuss at the start of the first event, a real first, a race to the top of Big Ben's Tower. Good even. Snagglepuss here at the base of Big Ben. While our three teams are ready in for the race to the top, let's have us a word with one of the distinguished team captains, the newly knighted Sir Yogi Bear. How are you, Sir Yogi? Much royaler than the average bear, Pierre. And here is Quick Draw McGraw of the Yogis, even. Quick Draw. This is quite an elaborate device, but will it get you to the top of Big Ben? If I don't get to the top first, I can always go into plumbing, or my name ain't Quick Draw McGraw. Meldo Wolf here with the Rotten's competitor, Tinky Dalton. Come on, big fella. You don't think I believe you're gonna climb this pole all the way to the top? If there's a rotten way to do it, they'll find it, believe me. The teams are ready as we await the starting bell. Speaking for all superheroes, we're ready. Speaking for super chickens, <laughs> I quit. They're off with the Blue Falcon making the first move. I do? Anybody! Mm -hmm. Time out! Call off the game! Oh. Meanwhile, the Yogi team is starting. I really don't know how this thing works, but here goes Quick Draw Birdman McGraw! Let her up, boo -boo. <laughs> There's no way this thing's gonna work! Draw and Shaggy are both on the face of the clock. Let's see how the Rotten's Dinky Dalton is doing. This ain't as easy as it looks. Brack. 
Shaggy and Quick Draw are climbing neck and neck, and the crowd is going wild. Let's switch live to Snagglepuss for an on-the-scene interview. Shaggy, can you reveal the secret of your fast ascent? Would you like to know the secret of my fast descent? Indeed I would. I would indeed. Your helicopter blade is cutting my rope! <laughs> A thousand pardons! Two thousands, if you will! Exit! Stage up! Dinky Dolphin is still slipping behind. Somehow I feel like I ain't making much progress. Ugh. Meanwhile, Shaggy and Quickdraw are approaching the top. It's going to be close. Dinky Dolphin seems to be out of it. Uh, huh. Now that's enough. I'm substituting my little brothers. Big deal. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> Look at this. It's the Rottens coming from no place and zooming into first place. What a display of teamwork. <laughs> the Rottens take the event with the Yogis coming in second and the Scoobies finishing third. As we go into our final events, the Scoobies lead with 70. But now to the English countryside for the fox hunt. Snagglepuss here for the fox hunt. Ta -ta 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 -ta. The team that runs the fox up the tree first is the winner. The contestants are raring to go as Mildew prepares to release the fox. Pokey Wolf is team captain for the Yogis, Captain Caveman for the Scoobies, and Daisy Mayhem for the Rottens. And they're off! As the hunt continued, the fox seemed to have everybody outfoxed. What's this? The fox is now chasing the hunters up a tree. Heavens to treetops! Don't look at me! I'm only the communicator. We've been outfoxed. Get, get home! Get, you hear? Give me that magic rabbit! And who never gives up? Ozum, Ozam, Ox, Scram! With this unexpected development, the fox hunters eventually declared a draw. Each team was awarded 15 points, except for the fox, who was given 25 points. But now, let's jump to the polo field, where the polo match is about to get underway. On skateboard, that is. Here comes the Honorable Sir Yogi Bear. He seems to have some trouble controlling his trusty skateboard. And away we go! Royalty stops for no one, you know! And here are the Scoobies out on the field. Captain! <laughs> and finally, here come the Rottens. Oh! And the teams are lined up for the start of the play. And play begins. Magic Rabbit is moving up on the ball. He's driving all alone. He scores. And the Magic Rabbit puts the Rottens on the board in the polo match. Tinker's driving down the field. He shoots. He stuck. No goal. He shoots again. No goal again. What's going on? No dog wonder. Fetch is another game. No. Well, gosh. <laughs> How's the wonder dog to know that? Now, here's the Yogi team captain. A magnificent display of talent as Sir Yogi scores. A beautiful move. Let's take a look at that again on Instant Replay. Uh -huh. That's what I call stick to itness. <laughs>
That's not fair, Yogi. I'll say not. Bags of sticky wicket, if I ever saw one. The Yogis and the Rottens each have one goal, but the Scoobies have yet to score. Galloping gorillas! It looks like Quick Draw is having a little trouble maneuvering. Come on, partner! Give the eye up! Ribby, ribby. Ribby, ribby. Hold on a minute, Thar! I'm getting a mic dizzy! Ribby. What a shot by the great ape! But it looks like it's going to be long gone! It's a home run! It's still Yogi's one, Scooby's nothing, and Rotten's one. But not for long! <laughs> Set up the new ball, Mumbly. <laughs> and it's the Scoobies out on the fast break. And it's a beautiful shot by Tinker. It looks like a goal for the Scoobies. No, wait! It looks like a goal for the Yogis. Yes, a goal for the Rottens. And the Rottens win. Wait a minute. I see a rotten. Correction. I see two rottens. Impersonating an officer of the law. A referee, even. And a word from the losers. It's a penalty, even. A foul has been called on the rottens. They will receive no points. And, oh, yes, Yogi used a sticky mallet. No points, say the judges. So scores revert to the last match. The Scooby Doobies win. The final, the irrefutable, the irreconcilable score, Scooby's first, Yogi's second, and Rotten's third. I'm standing here in the winner's circle. Scooby's, you took first place in the gold medal. I guess you're happy with the whole pie. Pie? What pie? Pizza pie? <laughs> and a word from the losers. Give me that. We're gonna be back next week with every low down underhanded trick we can think of. So cheerio from London, England. Join us next week as we span the globe again to capture the triumph of the victor, the torment of the vanquished, the eternal struggle to be champion, to be number one, to win the coveted Laugh Olympics gold. A dryer. Is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Yes, yes, Tycho's new train. Has got a real famous name. Tycho's new Chattanooga Choo Choo. Smokes and whistles. You see the smoke up up and rubbing, huffing out of the stack. Watch it as it chugs and chugs along on the track. Whistle for a warning every night and morning. Woo woo, Chattanooga by Tycho. Here's the Burger King himself. Your Highness, exactly what is it you go to Burger King for? Lunch. <laughs> yes, but I mean, is it the Whopper? Thank you. Or the fries? Don't mind if I do. Or the shakes? Mm, chocolate. Sir, what is it that brings you to Burger King? Why, the Royal Motorcycle, of course. <laughs> Burger King, where kids are king. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition at the greatest earthquake ever known. High on the rapids, they struck their tiny raft and plunged them down a thousand feet below to the land. Go. The land 
Isn't he cute? He may be cute, Holly, but he's still a dinosaur, and that makes him dangerous. I think I'll name him Spot. Spot? Are you kidding? That thing out there is bigger than any dog I've ever seen. It's a tyrannosaur. Come on, let's get going before he sees us. Come on. Again. I wonder why he's so grumpy. It's not that he's so grumpy, but he's got to eat to survive. Yeah, he doesn't care what or, or who he eats. I want to go home. We all do, honey. We don't even know where we are. I don't know how we got here or why, but I think we're in another world. What makes you say that, Dad? Well, because last night I saw three moons in the sky. Three moons? But how, Dad? Well, I think it must have happened when we went over the waterfall. Remember how it never seemed to end? Just like it, it seemed to fall through a hole in space. Well, then we may never get home. No, I wouldn't say that. If there's a way in here, there's got to be a way out of here. It just might take us a while to find it. I keep on wishing this was a dream. We'd all wake up and we'd be right back home again. It doesn't sound like any dream I ever heard of. It sounds like the Tyrannosaur. He must have picked up our scent. Come on, we've got to keep moving to stay ahead of him. Let's go. Hurry, Let's go. Hurry, Hurry. Hurry. Let's go. It's too close. Okay. Now listen, you two stay here. I'm going to see if it's safe to get back to the cave. And Will, watch your sister. Okay. Hey, let me get some water, okay? Oh, all right. Holly. I thought I heard something. It came from over there. Holly. Did you hear it? It sounds like people. Let's go see. Holly. Oh, come on. Holly, we're supposed to... Hey, are you out of your mind? You can't go walking around the jungle alone. You'll end up as lunch for that tyrannosaur. I can take care of myself. And besides, I know I heard those voices. Well, I heard the voices too, but you still can't go running around the... Looks like it was made by intelligent beings. Do you think they could still be around? It's so smooth. You can touch it, but you you really can't feel it. It's like it's like touching nothing. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I wonder what it was used for. Hey, quick, duck behind that log. <laughs> Come on, come on, easy. Okay, I got it. Come on, hurry!
Are you all right? Yeah. Now, why did you do that? You could have been killed. Because if I didn't, he could have been eaten. Oh. Where's Daddy? Hey, I... You're only going to get germs that way. Say, if you're so concerned about germs, why are you offering him our canteen? Because maybe he's thirsty. Well, he doesn't even know what you're offering him. Hey, come on, easy. All right, now look. Water, huh? Water. Maybe also. There you go. Also, so. Huh? Oh, okay. Here, here you go. Thank you. Hey, no, oh, no, no, hey, easy. It's all right, look, look, look. Drink. Huh? Okay. There you go. Hey, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's broken or not. It may only be a fracture. Can you do anything? I'd rather wait for Dad. What do you think he is? Some kind of a caveman, a monkey, or what? Hey! Eh, fair's fair. I bet he's just as curious as we are. Hey, you know, I'll bet he's a, he's some kind of uh, ape or something. Only evolved like everything else in this world. Seems kind of smart, though. Hi, cousin. Oh. Hey, uh, Will? Holly. Will? Holly. Where are? Hey. Chaka. Chaka! Okay. Chaka! <laughs> hey, hey, look, look. Human. Humans. Human? Uh huh, yeah, human. You money. Paku. Pakuni! Hey, now, you see, it's simple. He's not a caveman at all. He's a Paku. Whatever that is. Well, Grumpy's still in the meadow, and he's still hungry. He's running down to some kind of a monkey, a mid-afternoon snack, I guess. Hello, who's this? It's Grumpy Snack. Well, looks like a chimp. He's a Paku. His leg is broken. Hey, take it easy. Chucka, easy, friend. Look, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm not really a doctor, you know, so uh, you'll just have to trust me. Uh, Will, let's get him back to the cave where I can work on him, all right? Yeah. Hey, look, I'm, I, yeah, wait, I think I better do it. I think he trusts me, okay? All right. Come on, Chaka. Easy. Friend. No, e e come on. No, oh, come on. I'll be easy. Come on. Friend, Chaka. Friend. Come on. Friend, Chaka. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. easy. That's okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> How are we going to get him up to the cave? Well, I thought we'd pull him up in the basket. Holly, you come on with me, and, and Will, listen, you wait here with our friend, okay? Okay, man. Come on, Holly. Hey, 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 come on. It's okay, okay? Also. Also? Also. Oh, water? Oh, okay. Hey, I'm learning Pakuni. Hey, hey Will. Yeah, Dad. Put Chuck in the basket. Okay. Come on, Chuck. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna go up there. Come on. Easy now, easy now. Come on. He's not gonna hurt you. Come on, come on. He'll be all right. Hey, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Hurry up, son. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, no hurts. Come on. Easy. Okay, Dad. But, all right. But, but slow, okay? Yeah. Hey. Easy now. Okay. Oh, no. Grumpy, not now. Will, go back and get Chaka. Quick. Laura, Dad, easy. Quick.
Stay where you are, Will! Okay, Dad. He never learns, does he? Well, what do you expect? His brain's only the size of a walnut. Let's get the fly sweater. Okay, Holly? Holly, don't go calling grumpy names. I mean, it's not his fault that he's stupid. Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah, Will, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, how about you? Fine. Hey, easy, easy. You can come out now, Will. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we can't. We'll tie a loop in the end of our rope and throw it down to you. Okay. Hey, it'll be just a minute. Come on, easy. Boil some water, Holly. This wound's gonna have to be cleaned. Dad, I need your lighter. Careful not to burn it. You can't burn water. The way you cook, you can. Daddy! That's enough now. You're gonna have to cook tomorrow, Will. Aw, oh, Dad! And the day after. Okay, little fella. Now, this is gonna hurt just for a moment, but I've got to do this. It's okay. Thanks, Holly. Good. It's not too hot. I'll clean this wound out. A friend, Chuck. A friend. Foreign. Okay, Will, will you help me here? I think I can do it. Get this in here. Let's put one on top. I want to put one underneath. Hold it now, Chaka. Let's tie this. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It shouldn't hurt anymore. I had to set your leg so that it would heal clean. You were very lucky, Chaka. You only had a slight fracture. <laughs> Why am I talking to you, Chuck? You don't understand English. Do you? He can learn. Can we keep him? No, Holly. People don't own other people. Chucka will stay with us just as long as he wants to. Or until you can get up and walk out of here on your own. All right, Chucka. You should be comfortable now. Ota! Ota! Uh-uh, Chaka. That's not for a Paku to play with. Fire's dangerous. Do you think he likes it here? No, I think he's still just a little bit afraid of us. You know, I'm sure that he misses his own people and would like to get back to him. Yeah. Come on, mm -hmm. let's go to sleep. OK, okay. night, Dad. Good, Good night. night. Good night, Holly. Well.
hold it, little fella. Just hold it. Why is he running from us? Here's the reason. He took my lighter. He probably wanted to take fire to his people. Hey, but Dad, they already know how to make fire. But only with flint. I'll bet he thinks this is great magic. Come on, let's get going. Okay. Hey! Hey! Oh, are you both okay? Yeah. Stay okay. close to me. I think they think that we've captured Chaka, and they could be dangerous. Okay. Hey, so this is how you treat a friend? Maybe he doesn't consider us friends, Will. We gave you water. We saved you from Grumpy. We fixed your leg. It's Grumpy! Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd be happy to see Grumpy! I'll lay the fly swatter! be darned. He can learn things. Hey, uh, I think we could maybe uh, teach him to sit up and beg. <laughs> I'd be happy if he just played dead, for real. Yeah. You know, it's funny how things worked out. I mean, we saved Chaka from Grumpy, and Grumpy saved us from Chaka. We just wanted your lighter. I know, but we need it, too. I'm disappointed. I thought Chaka was our friend. Well, it would have been nice, but it takes a lot of trust to make a friend, Holly. Maybe next time. It isn't Grumpy again, is it? No, it's something else. At the front of the cave. Wow, look at this! <laughs> Just like breakfast in bed. But where'd it come from? Look, down there. It's footprints. I think Chucka paid us a visit in the night. You know, I guess he wants to be friends with us after all. You mean we'll get to see him again? You know something? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> come on, let's eat. Come let's on, take in while we've well, we got a chance. Hey, look at the size of this. Yes. <laughs> Dad, what's this? It looks like a melon. Huh. Nothing like this on Earth. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, eat. I'm hungry. I love these things. Oh. Mmm, look. Clear up. Can you imagine bobbing for these on Halloween, Dad? Mmm. <laughs> 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 Find me living in the land.